Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for Collector Booster Box opening number two of the case that I picked up today. And we are not going to mess around with this plastic wrap anymore. We're just going to take the scissors to it. Box one, not the greatest. I've got it loading up onto YouTube right now. But like I always say, you got to open some bad ones if you want to open some good ones. And uh, you, we've opened a couple of bad ones in a row now after having the first box that I bought from Odyssey Games was one of the best openings I've done. The man was amazing. And the second box I got from Odyssey Games was one of the worst. Man, did it suck. And that first one was, I mean, we got a, an anime uh, doubling season, non-foil. So that's all right. But overall, the box is very underwhelming. Let's see if we can have this box be overwhelming. Overwhelm me, box. Overwhelm me. Expel the interlopers is not overwhelming. Intruder alarm also not overwhelming. Virtue of loyalty, that's the last virtue that I need. Blightwing bandit, fairy rogue. Is that the one? Yeah, I keep getting this one. Uh, in elusive otter, la otter is not afraid. Not exactly something that I was wanting, but whatever. I've got elusive otter in a deck. I've got him in my Gorian Wise mentor deck. Playing myself an adventure deck. That's actually really strong in casual. We have got Forced Fruition Foil. Yeah. Kindred Discovery. That's a decent hit. Bramble Familiar. Whatever. Gruff Triplets. Yeah. And Charming Scoundrel. That's that. So, I don't know. We got a decent hit here out of two packs thus far. Let's we'll say you pay 25 bucks a pack at the store. Is it 25 bucks worth of cards here? Absolutely not. Hey, there's a Hilda. This is what I've been wanting. It's a decent hit. It's worth a little bit. Extended out foil Hilda. We got a Phyrexian Unlife. You've got a Showcase Gumdrop Poisoner. Man, is that gross look? Strange. We've got an Extended Art Foil. Yeah, that's an extended art foil in the slot that's supposed to be an extended art. We'll take it. Horned Lock Whale, my first one of those. I need that for the Gorian deck. Okay, so a couple of decent hits now. Still no bomb hits. We're looking for those bomb hits, right? We're looking for not Fon's Bane Troll. That's for damn sure. Blood Moon's a decent hit. That's not a decent hit. Uh, Sleep Cursed Fairy... Not a decent hit. And there's Virtue of Knowledge. That's a good hit. Not a bomb hit, but a good hit. Let's keep it rolling. Good hits in three packs in a row, but, you know, out of a collector box, good hits just don't get you there. You need bomb hits. We've got a Bramble Familiar. Not a bomb hit. We've got Copy Enchantment again. We've got Horned Lock Whale Showcase. We've got Loam Crafter Fawn. Okay. And we've got a Restless Cottage. Uh, if you need Restless Cottages... Hit me up because I cannot stop cracking that piece of crap. And things aren't going so well. There was no even decent hits in that pack. Unless that Seder Druid is better than I think it is. Maybe it is, I don't know. Sincerely doubt it. We've got Leyline of Sanctity again. Leyline of the Void, yay. This is, just keeps getting worse. We've got Bernard. Yeah, and three blind mice again. Yeah, okay. So, it looks like we're going to need a monster hit to save this box, or this box is going to be a disaster. I don't know, boys and girls. That's definitely not a monster hit. M.O. Dane, the pirate hammer. Your rated assault's a decent. Helen Fayblood is a decent. Unfinished business, not familiar with it. Uh, decadent dragon. Foil Curiosity, that's okay. Come on, come on. Let me make sure that that ley line is not accidentally, uh, nope, it is not a confetti. Not that we want a confetti ley line, sanctity. We got a Bitter Blossom foil. You see, it, it is not confetti. But it's a foil Bitter Blossom, that's a good hit. You know, the confetti's like to hide in this 
lighting I got going on here, so just gonna make doubly sure real quick. We got ley line of abundance, uh, restless spire, court of Vandris, and Lord Skitter Sewer King. He's awesome. He's won me some limited games already. Sealed pool. He's just a monster. Let's see what we get here. We've got a uh, foil extended art rankles prank. Pranks on me, I guess. Donna Hopes, Devouring Sugar Maw, Hilda's Garbage, and Thunderous Debut. Yeah, not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking good. But I have a feeling we're just going to crack a confetti foil here real quick, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to make it all worth it. Virtue of Persistence Showcase Foil. Decent hit. Prismatic Omen's, omens all right. Will, I think he's crap. Uh, we've got a Lord Skitter. Lord Skitter's Blessing. And Blossoming Tortoise. That's a good hit. So we've got a, some good hits, but we just don't have the impressive hits. This is probably... A, Average to a little bit better than average thus far. These last two packs here are going to put it above or below the good box. Threshold, Horned Lock Whale is not going to get you there. Blind Obedience, 20 Twin Twins. I believe that's my first 20 Twins. That's going to be also going into Gorian. Uh, not familiar with this Songbird's Blessing. And yeah, so we got one pack to. Turn it all around. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, pack. Give it to me. Give me the give me the goods. This is gonna be a two confetti foil case. I can feel it. Dawn of Hope, which is not a confetti foil. <laughs> yeah. And even if it was, who would care? We've got the anime land tax, Mosswood Dread Knight, I like him, Court of Garen Brig, a couple of decent cards, and then a mother goose. Yep, this is a probably right around an average box we got a below average box and an average box and four boxes to go and yeah hopefully things will turn around for us that's three straight boxes that they were either balls or meh we don't we don't like balls and we don't like meh we like really good boxes and we want a really good box or two here keep rooting for me keep tuning in I'll keep opening. See you in the next video.